Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it is me, Xander. Today I want to talk to you about being in a mixed status relationship. What the hell? So as you all know, I am currently single, but this hasn't always been the case. And in one of my previous relationships, it was a mixed status relationship. A mixed status relationship is where one partner is HIV positive and one partner is HIV negative. And I remember falling for this guy who was HIV positive and I really wanted to talk about kind of how I dealt with knowing he was HIV positive and dealing with my feelings and how the information that I gathered on the subject managed to mean that we had a successful relationship. I hadn't been in a relationship with a HIV positive person before and I also hadn't knowingly slept with someone who was HIV positive before this guy. So I had to do a little bit of research to understand everything and make sure I was protecting myself and make sure he was okay with me being okay and, and all of this different stuff. There was a lot to consider and when I was doing this research I didn't find that many personal experiences, I didn't find that many on YouTube. This was a few years ago so there might be a ton load more now. There are plenty of people in mixed status relationships, it is not an uncommon thing. I know a fair few couples already who are in mixed status relationships and they can be very happy, healthy and successful. In 2017, HIV is no longer a death sentence and it isn't quite the scary threat that it used to be when we saw the AIDS crisis in the 1980s. There are a multitude of ways to protect yourself from HIV as I'm sure you're all aware but I will repeat just a few of them now. Condoms providing a physical barrier between genital contact will stop HIV if used correctly. There is PrEP, which the person who is HIV negative can be on to stop them ever getting infected with HIV. If the partner that you are with is undetectable, meaning they've been taking all their medications correctly, they haven't had any side effects, and the HIV count now is so low in their body that it cannot be detected, it's still present in your body, you haven't got rid of it. Have a little Google between condoms, PrEP, and the drugs that make you undetectable. I mean, if you're HIV positive anyway, you'll be seeing a doctor regularly. The other thing that you should know is if you are exposed to the virus without knowing, potentially had unprotected sex with a partner you're not sure about, or maybe the condom broke, whatever, there is also post-exposure prophylaxis. PEP can be taken up to 72 hours after sexual contact with someone who you're not sure about the status of and then it's taken for the following month and this stops you getting infected in the first place so if you have had some risky behaviour that you're not sure about get down to the emergency room and they can provide you with PEP immediately there is still a very large stigma attached to HIV and it doesn't have to be that way. I've met gay people who don't really know anything about HIV, who will meet or see a person with HIV, who will instantly write them off as disgusting or slutty or, you know, someone who gets involved with drugs and, and chemtex pies and stuff. And that's not the case. It only takes one time to get the virus. Most people have been at risk of exposure to the virus at some point in their sexual history. So automatically assuming that everyone who has HIV got it from like a chemsex orgy is completely wrong and we need to end that stigma right now. Always be upfront and honest about your HIV status and get tested. Make sure you know your status in the first place. What I want you to take away from this video is if someone reveals their HIV status as positive to you, you don't just throw them away as a person. Because I think that's something that occurs quite frequently. Even if you are clued up, even if you are protecting yourself, people often will just assume things about someone with HIV and it isn't the case. The love of your life could be HIV positive right now and if you extinguish the possibility of ever dating anyone with HIV, you're excluding a lot of people. That There is no point because you don't have to, because you can stay safe, you can protect yourself. Thank you so much for watching my video on mixed status relationships. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever. I am all over the place. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love to see you again soon. Goodbye.